Civilization development has inevitably influenced people's everyday life, including such an inseparable part of it as garment. Our ancestors used to put on animal skins, while nowadays people want their clothes to be as convenient and as nice as possible. This is not only about our everyday images, but the special clothes as well, including the military uniform. Generally, the garment mass production begins in the mid-19th century in France, and it was a little later that the first all-purpose sewing machines appeared along with other kinds of equipment, which helped experimenting over garment manufacturing. Within the shortest time, the seamstresses can not only develop the designs of the garment, but they can also produce it according to the all-nice styles of this process. And shortly we decided to find out all the interesting details of this technology. Hello, you're watching Within the Process, the program which tells you in detail about how it works. And today our cameras are focused on the process of manufacturing uniform for the security agencies. The custom is designed in the development shop. Consumers' requirements are taken as the basis. The buttons, stitches, various winterizing ways and other details of a future custom are selected according to the customer's order. Workout craftsmen or simply saying tailors create a single copy of sample article. If the tailoring quality and other performance criteria pass through all the testing stages, they start mass production. And the first costume is made by patterns which are specially made for an individual model. Patterns are developed to precisely follow the outline of legs, sleeves, collars and all other details of the future uniform. Now, when they are to start the mass production of various sized garments, they copy the pattern in order to accelerate the tailoring process. Here, they also classify the details and identify each component of an article includes the lining, the facing and various insulators. When the pattern is ready, they are sure to start the core process, which starts in the cutting shop. They cut the future sleeves, legs and collars and other details out of the piece of clothes to create the military-style image according to the patterns. However, much work still needs to be done before they acquire the appearance we are used to see. First, they need to determine the initial cloth. Depending on the custom design, they select the material, the required fittings and other components which will be involved in the production process. Then the control operator inspects the entire amount of initial material for quality and quantity. This means that the raw material is thoroughly inspected visually and then sorted out. The next stage is cutting. They lay the material required for tailoring on the spreading table. And the future costume acquires its first outline by the rule and line. They cut out the sleeves, the legs and the collar, along with the rest of the details of the military men's uniform, following the cut marks put on the paper beforehand. The entire process is accomplished on a semi-automatic unit. Cloth cutter clutches the material, thus limiting cloth movement on the table, and cuts the cloth following the mark using a sharp ground side knife. It is hard to make a mistake. All what is needed is to follow the lines printed out and cloth will look neat and the edges will be evenly cut and they provide a little surplus when they cut the material leaving a small part for the special machine to fit it more precisely. Then the numbering operators start their part of work. Such packaging facilitates further operation at the sewing roll. Each separate detail is completed at the definite sewing machine. All the details of the future military uniform are allocated on the tables. This way they make the process more optimized and effective. This one-of-a-kind semi-automatic unit actually makes the whole work for the human. Seamstress's task is just to adjust the material right on the laser, which is to be firmly fixed on the mark that is already put on the cloth. One pressing down the pedal and the hole for the pocket is ready. Now they need to take care of the uniform decorating details, which is to determine the zones to apply the coat of arms or the branded badge. 
This operation is interesting stage of the process. The operations on applying customers' corporate logos or sport event symbols are easily accomplished by two embroidery machines. Each of these machines is equipped with eight heads and each head has from six to nine needles. They preliminary put the desired color threads into the needles. Then they mark the material with crosses and set the program for the process. Another significant aspect is that the material is fixed with special holders which stretch the clothes and prevent even smallest wrinkles on it. When they have set all the starting parameters for the operation process, the machine applies the desired logo or any figure on the cloth with high precision and the figure acquires its outlines right before our eyes. And it is generally formed right from the center of the mark. By the way, it's not only lettering and simple patterns that this equipment is capable of. This up-to-date equipment can create such masterpieces like this also. And they joke that manual cross-stitching is the last century technology. Let's go back to the sewing room. The whole work is made with sewing machines equipped with plenty of useful functions. For example, in order to cut off the thread after stitching, the operator has just to press the pedal, after which the trimming blade cuts the thread. By the way, the stitches can be of various types. For example, these are machines which make the two-row finish line and some machines create decoration of flat lock seams. So each machine has its own dedication or the seam function. The operator is required to control the process by precisely adjusting the details by their size and to manage the machine. And they have plenty to take care of, like seam quality, cut-off thread, and compliance of the details and their colors. They may spoil the semi-finished product just by making one inaccurate movement. Now, actually, the final stage of the process comes. All of the parts of the uniform are joined together. Along with it, they arrange all the accessories like buttons, loops, and rivets. They take their proper place on the brand new costume, after which the checkman inspects the resulted product. Any flaw is excluded. The seams must be even in some places, the cloth must be seamed several times as necessary. The finished product is packed in the warehouse. When the batch is ready, it will be delivered to its destination point for the new overalls or a military uniform to be used by its new owner. The world garment industry leaders are the US, Italy, Germany, France and Great Britain. However, their Asian colleagues stay behind neither of the world fashion trends nor the latest technologies applied in the industry. This is supported by the fact that many of the world garment manufacturers relocate their productions to China, Indonesia, India and Vietnam. Kazakhstan has seven large garment manufacturers, so the domestic producers put big contribution into the garment manufacturer development. Moreover, time zips along and changes people images, both every day and dress up and business looks. And this means that the garment industry is evaded by great changes in future. You've been watching Within the Process, a program which tells you in detail about how it works and change your attitude towards the things surrounding us in everyday life. I'm Dimitri Galabir, see you in the next episode of Within the Process.